hi what's up guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to configure your vesk so this method applies to the vesk 4.12 the vesk x or foc box and the vesk 6 all right so if you have one of these version of vesk you'll be able to uh, configure it using this uh, way all right so first thing you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and download the VESC tool all right you can do it with a BLDC tool but I would recommend using uh, the VESC tool it is uh, way more advanced and more up-to-date I have a link to uh, the file so you want to scroll down to the video description and go ahead and download the file then we go to go Alright, so I already downloaded the file. So here is the VESC tool. Here, this is the version 0.94. So you want to go ahead and launch the VESC tool. And uh, next step, you want to go ahead and uh, connect the USB cable to your computer. Then run it to the VESC. All right, once you have the vest connected to your computer, go ahead and power on the vest. Click on connect. Here you have a warning. Don't worry if you have this message. It means that the the vest has a, has an outdated firmware, so you can go ahead and click okay. And here you can go ahead and update your firmware to the VESC tool. So what you want to go ahead and do in the tab on the left right here you can see a welcome wizard connection then you have firmware. You have firmware so you can go ahead and select the firmware for your VESC. It has to be in this list. mine is uh, 412 so here it is I select that then I go ahead and go down to download and click once again a warning go ahead and click yes okay then you can see the progress bar at the bottom here alright once the updating is done your vest will be automatically disconnected from the computer so you need to go ahead and connect it one more time like that and at the bottom right here you can see connected all right so now we are good to go I want to go ahead and go to modus wizard go ahead and hit next yep go ahead and select foc next okay go ahead and set the right values for your motors here I have a torque board motor 6374 millimeters rated 80 amps I'm gonna put 80 amps current max okay so brake I'm gonna keep it to 60 negative 60 amps battery max is uh, 30 all right and uh, battery regenerative brake charge that's I'm gonna set it to 12 amps that's the um, means that the battery will be charged at 12 this one is the amount of current the max current the battery can deliver so go ahead and hit next yes battery cutoff I'm using a 10s 42 volts fully charged so 35 cutoff star is good and 32 cutoff end then I'm gonna hit next here I'm using a sensors so I'm gonna go ahead and select hot sensors next here you wanna go ahead and measure R and L when doing it make sure there is nothing on the way of the motor because it is going to spin 
all right so let's go ahead and hit measure okay so, all right as you can see the weird nose it does normal just measure R and R now next step you want to go ahead and measure the flux make sure there is nothing on the way of the motor it is gonna spin this time okay alright so that's all set now you wanna go ahead and hit apply read read into the motor so go ahead and hit next the sensor table you want to go ahead and measure okay received so go ahead and hit apply then hit next and you're good to go finish next step is the the app configuration hit ok next yep how many vesk a single vesk yep ok what kind of remote you using alright and here you wanna go ahead and measure the pulse so here I'm gonna keep it off first you wanna go ahead and turn on your remote make sure it's pair to the receiver and you want to go ahead and push the throttle all the way down and then all the way up then go ahead and apply and do one more time to see if it's okay 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 so we go to go hit apply now select current no reverse we break click apply and hit next so we all set right configuration to VESC, hit next and then finish as you can see as you can see we are all set so now you can go ahead and disconnect not connected go ahead and disconnect the cable and then you are good to go so that was it for this video you found it useful make sure to drop a like see you on the next video